What up? It's your girl Jay with the juice and welcome back to JTV. I am so excited to be bringing you my third video and wait, are you subscribed? And if you're not, baby, what are you waiting on? If you've been here and you've been watching all my videos, I trust me, baby, it's free to go ahead and push that little red dot and subscribe to my channel. I give you videos every two to three weeks on a Friday, so that way you get the whole weekend to kick it with me. So what, what else you got to do? Nothing. <laughs> but seriously, today we're going to be talking about the HBCU experience. And let me tell you, it's near and dear to my heart because as you can see, I went to the best one. <laughs> no, seriously. But today we're going to be talking about the parties at HBCUs, the overall experience, and what it did for my self-esteem and a teach of the ugly. <laughs> so, I'd like to start off rough and bring it up. <laughs> First thing is, okay, it's not a secret. Financial aid is a nightmare. And it's a nightmare because it opens probably about 7.38. The line is as long as the New Jordan line. It don't matter what time you get there, baby. You are going to stand in line. But, hey, you get the job done, so I guess you can't complain. You got to take a tincture of the ugly to go along with the good. But the good thing about an HBCU and the overall experience is you will gain another family going to HBCU. I know we all know the saying, it takes a village to raise a child. Well, I can tell you that village is at an HBCU the community and the bond that you build with not only your peers but mentors and vice presidents and deans and even people like your counselors or even people like your local lunch lady that works there they it's a nurturing but yet stern relationship letting you know that they are here for you but at the same time they are not going to baby you we are producing black scholars here so baby you got to be on your <laughs> p's and q's which brings me to the parties, yes, the parties are live. They are everything what you see on Instagram with all the different D9 sororities and fraternities strolling and performing, the step shows, yes. But trust me, with that comes hard work, meaning that do not let your homecoming be your home going, okay? Because if you do not do your homework and let everything, all the excitement and the fun get to you, you will be going home. HBCU or not, or family or not, they still will send you home if you don't do your work. If you're a smart cookie, you do your homework the week before homecoming because at an HBCU, homecoming is an entire week. And you're not going to want to do it, trust me, even from the smallest events. You don't want to miss a thing because everything has so much heart and soul in it that you're not going to want to miss nothing. So that way when you get to the next week, because trust me, it's probably going to be midterms, Everything is easy peasy. <laughs> now, what I did learn from having that experience and having that self-esteem is that I saw a lot of people that looked like me in a position of power. If you were like me you went to, and you went to a diverse school, a lot of us aren't always in those positions in those school systems. So getting to HBCU and seeing vice presidents and deans and professors and mentors, and it, it just did something for me to know that, okay, the sky is the limit. You can do whatever you put your mind to. And that's the vibe in the community that, that you get at being at an HBCU. And one of the things that I learned by being at HBCU is that I really enjoy mentorship. I worked at the Boys and Girls Club on and off while I was down there. And I let me tell you, I became an assistant dance coach down there. And I loved it. I love those kids. And I love, more importantly, helping the next generation get to their next step in life. And that's what an HBCU does. It prepares you and guides you and teaches you to love who you really are as a person. But whether you're white, black, purple, pink, a HBCU's experience is something you can never get anywhere else. And I know it because I've been to a PWI and an HBCU. And let me tell you, I make the best decision for me. And I'm praying all, all of you do make the best decision for you. But for me, there was nothing better than my HBCU experience. I still talk to a lot of my guidance counselors and professors that helped me to be the journalist that I am today. I want to thank you for tuning in to my video because my next video, I'm going to get into the fact of life after college and the good, the bad, and ugly about that too. <laughs> thank you guys for tuning in and I'll see you in a couple weeks.